It just makes sense to kick the video off here at Edinburgh's famous Royal Mile. As the name suggests, it's a street that stretches uh, around a mile from Edinburgh Castle and all the way down to Holyrood Palace. The Royal Mile is lovely and there's lots of things to do and see here and I'm sure you're going to be spending quite a lot of time here. But maybe don't do all your Scottish souvenir shopping right here and maybe don't buy your cashmere and your scarves here. Also, don't forget to walk down all the small alleys because that's actually where you'll find the cool pubs and restaurants that the locals also go to because here in the Royal Mile you, you won't even hear any English or Scottish being spoken. I used to live here in Edinburgh and I actually used to work as a tour guide in my own travel agency so I know this city pretty well so if you've got any questions then just drop a comment below and I'll do my best to help. Right here on the Royal Mile you'll find the St Giles Cathedral and it's free to enter and honestly it's one of the most stunning cathedrals I've ever been in so I highly recommend going in there. Victoria Street is probably the most beautiful street in all of Edinburgh and that says a lot in this fantastic city. It's also rumoured that this is the street that inspired J.K. Rowling when she thought about uh, Diagon Alley in the Harry Potter universe and she was actually writing the first book in a cafe right up here that sadly burned down now so I think they're restoring that but definitely come here to Victoria Street, check that out and uh, the shops here are actually pretty good. There are some uh, independent shops and it's not just uh, touristy stuff. <laughs> The Dean Village here in Edinburgh is one of those places that looks perfect on Instagram with all the right editing. But the good news is that it's just as good in real life. Just do keep in mind that actual people are actually living here. So maybe don't walk into their gardens as I've just seen some tourists do. Now from the Dean Village I highly recommend that you walk this way along this river called the Water of Leith. That's actually one of my favourite walks in all of Edinburgh and that says a lot in this beautiful city. It's such a peaceful walk and you're actually gonna end up in the next area that I want to show you. Our walk here ends in an area called Stockbridge and uh, this is without a doubt my favourite part of town. I think there's a sense of being in a smaller Scottish village uh, and not like 10 minutes from the city centre of the capital of Scotland and I really like that. Come down to uh, Stockbridge and maybe stop here at the Scran and Scally and get some really good food. And if you want to meet the locals, then head over to a pub called The Bailey Bar. There's just a different vibe here in Stockbridge compared to Newtown and Old Town. And if you've got a couple of days here in Edinburgh, then head down here. It's a nice, really nice area. One of the best ways to uh, experience Edinburgh is to get up high and uh, take it all in. And uh, my favorite place to do so is Calton Hill here in Newtown because it's one of the easier walks and it takes a couple of minutes. It might be a bit steep, but uh, it's definitely worth it when you get up there. Um, the sun is shining and it's raining. Welcome to Scotland. <laughs> I couldn't really do a video about the best things to do in Edinburgh without including the castle. Um, I'm not going to head in there today, but I highly recommend it because it is, it is expensive, but it's worth the money, that's for sure. And remember to book your tickets well in advance as they do sell out, especially on a Saturday like today. And here's a little bonus for you guys, because we are in Scotland and I really do think you should try Iron Brew. Here in Scotland, Iron Brew is the most popular soda and it's even more popular than Coca-Cola. And while we're at it, I really do think you should try Haggis. And if you don't know what Haggis is, don't worry about it, don't look it up on Google or anything, just order it in a pub. Or go to this hotel restaurant where they've got Haggis ravioli and that actually tasted really really good. It's not supposed to be amazing, but it is. Greyfriars Bobby is the most popular little dog in all of Scotland. Little Bobby here is known for guarding the grave of his owner until he died himself after 14 years of guarding the owner's grave. So right across from the statue you will find Greyfriars Kirkyard and this is another interesting place to go if you are a Harry Potter fan. Because on some of the graves here you will find some names that you know from the Harry Potter books. And that is because the cafe where JK Rowling was writing the first Harry Potter book is just around the corner. 
And another thing that is just around the corner is the next thing on our list. It's always great to have something to do in Scotland and in Edinburgh when it rains. And the National Museum is free to enter and it's actually really really cool. And another thing that's really really cool is to subscribe to this channel and like the video if you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot, see you!